Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. But today, I just have three major things to share with you guys. News about Sandbox, that specific crypto called Sand. News about XRP in relationship to the new airdrop that's coming up. And number three, which you'll see in just a second as you keep watching this video. Having said that, guys, Merry freaking Christmas. Make sure you press that like button. I want to get this video to a thousand likes because of the Christmas vibes. You know, I'm excited. I'm happy. And I try to share this news with you guys because it's freaking amazing. All right, guys, before we move on, I want to know from you guys and put this in the comment section down below. Will XRP make you a millionaire? So first of all, Sandbox, PWC Hong Kong one of the partners that VeChain is also really big with, has just purchased land on the sandbox, or basically in the sandbox metaverse. This is an insane announcement. It's not gotten that many views, which really surprised me because of the severity that basically lies behind this, guys. It is an extremely important announcement, and I keep trying to share that type of stuff over on my channel too, whenever I see something that's groundbreaking. But that's obviously one of the main reasons why the sandbox price is doing so amazing right now. Obviously, because Metaverse has gotten another little, little jump as a whole. I mean, we talked just recently in one of my videos here on the channel, like this one right here, about how the Metaverse sector is just something I believe every single crypto investor should be, uh, be going for right now. But the Metaverse sector today actually started to pick back up the pace. And now the last couple of hours have not been so good. But today was, I think, a plus 10% day among the entire board here. And the sandbox was one of the best performers, mostly due to this announcement, of course. Then again, guys, Metaverse still. I keep buying more and more and more and more and more into it. I try to get into a lot of these IDOs as well that are related to Metaverse. Then again, guys, be cautious with all this stuff because there's a lot of scams out there. But over on my channel, guys, I try to find the best of the best and share that with you all, which is also why I think we're going up as subscribers every single day. Then again, guys, remember, we're trying to hit 140,000 subs by the end of the year. If you're not subscribed just yet, make sure you press that button. And let's get right over into our second piece of news of today, which has to do in regards with XRP. I've been checking out a lot of these whales, right? And we saw, hey, a couple of hours ago, six hours ago, some very big whales were moving XRP. And that could have been what, theoretically speaking, caused a little bit of this XRP dump that, funny enough, happened at about 15 minutes after that big 100 million XRP transfer happened. Then again, it was really unproportionate in the way that XRP price was moving down, while Bitcoin at that point still was going up. Now, obviously, as time has moved on here, Bitcoin came down a little bit and the XRP price came down even more because of it during these last two candles. But generally speaking, it was the pattern, the head and shoulders pattern to be specific for XRP that, that went down here, basically. You can see clearly how it portrayed with the left shoulder, neckline, head, right, I guess, part of the neckline and the right shoulder before breaking down towards the downside. It's not something too spectacular in the sense that it's really kind of, quote unquote, normal in the way that this just happened. But again, guys, we are trading a lot the last couple of days and I'm, whew, we're in a good amount of profit over the last couple of weeks as well because we've making some really, really profitable and nice calls. This is what we call it during the live stream. But I honestly believe that the XRP price is in some way, shape or form very much correlated to the Sologenic price. As I just right now, guys, prepared my XRP for this big airdrop that is coming up. If you don't know, there's a coin called Sologenic on the XRP ledger. And these guys are basically going to be giving you 1% Sologenic in comparison to every XRP you have. So let's say you have 10,000. Now, let's say you have 100 XRP. You're going to be getting yourself 1.3 solo for absolutely free, which at this point, I'm just going to kind of round it down, is about 3 to $5. Let's put it like that. For every 100 XRP that you have, you're getting $5 for free. That's the way that I see it, about 5% in terms of money. And for every solo you have, they're giving you 1.5 Sologenic for free. And so we talked a little bit during the live stream about, for example, injecting $10,000 worth of um, you know, Tether into Solo, getting yourselves a significant amount of coins. And then because the snapshot is going to be taken at 8 p.m. UTC this night in a couple of hours from now, we potentially could just buy it at $7.59, uh, $10,000 worth or $100,000 worth or a million or two, five, 10 million, who knows? Uh, let's put $10,000 right here. Get ourselves 2655 Sologenic. The price of Sologenic is, in my own thought process, going to tank quite drastically straight after the drop. But if we sell at one past eight, just after the snapshot has happened, we get ourselves 26... This is just something I might not even do, but maybe I will if I remember. 
we get ourselves a pretty huge amount of Sologenic. But remember, guys, this we have, right? And we can sell that again. But we also get ourselves this amount for completely free then. Because as, as far as I know, they give you 1.5 or at least a 1 to 1 1.5 ratio Sologenic. So it might be something worth to investigate into for the next couple of hours and something to really think about. Because we're gonna, the only thing we have to watch out for, basically, is the price doesn't move more than, uh, let's say, 15%, no, let's say even 30 or 40% or so within that little one minute time frame where we have just bought ourselves the Sologenic and are going to sell it. Um, but it's just something I've been thinking about. Then again, the more people that know about this, the worse it's going to work because many people are going to do it at the same time. But I, I thought it would be honest to share with you guys what my thought process is, even though it might cost me money to do that. And then our third thing of today, because again, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to replicate on top of the XP price. You guys already know I'm trading it over on Bybit and we generally speaking have a lot of long positions open. Even right now, guys, I'm telling everybody that this little area here, the 93.4 cent area is a good area to start opening up some more XP long positions. Then again, we might have actually just looked at this and be like, hey, we got ourselves a double bounce here ish over at the uh, 92.20 ish mark. Could have actually opened one there, but unfortunately I did not. Our last long position was this one right here, where we got ourselves some nice juicy profits. And we had a shorter term um, little, I guess, trade that we did right there. Our last but not least, little thing that I like to share with you all. There's actually a couple of things that I'm thinking I might want to share in this video. Oh, my days, guys. There's actually so many fun things that I have not covered here that I kind of should have gone for, maybe. But the last fun thing I want to share with you guys is Coinbase. So... We noticed when checking out the interwebs that Coinbase made an article five hours ago that titled How to Buy XRP. Now, we noticed in the live stream that they actually made this for every single crypto, but there's two specific and really fun parts that they have here in this XRP article. Fun part number one is something you might see if you look at this webpage for more than about than 20 seconds. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to find it. Whatever, I didn't really count. Right here on the right, the price of XRP has risen by 23% over the past seven days. The price declined by 0 0.16 over the last 24 hours. XP price right now is 85 cents. XRP is 100% below the all-time high of 19.8 million euros. I don't know. I just kind of crack up when I see that Coinbase made an article like this. And Coinbase, one of the biggest exchanges in the freaking world, cannot fix their glitches. Isn't that funny, guys? I know this is still like some, uh, some, some resonance, resonance. Re I don't know, like some reson resonance. I don't know. I'm not a native English speaker from the the coin market cap glitch, but still, I, I don't understand how they could still not fix this after such a long while. I mean, it's been uh, over a week now, guys. So uh, it should have been fixed, if you ask me. If you want to be professional, it should have been fixed a little while ago. Uh, however, there's a second fun part, which is that I often talk about on the channel here, that Coinbase has gotten xrp delisted from the platform there's also something they say here you cannot buy your xrp over on coinbase which is really annoying and, and frankly quite sad however one of the most interesting points if you um ask me as of this point is the fact that they do consider xrp a currency if you read through this i mean let's take a look at this i tried to type it in here so if you look through here you'll find that um, they basically give you a guide on how to buy XRP. And what you have to do is go to CoinMarketCap and look on the market section to find your, your XRP on there. What they say, in this view, you'll see a complete list of places you can purchase XRP as well as the currencies you can use to obtain it. So from that perspective, you don't really know yet, right? They don't really say anything about it. It comes here. Under pairs, you'll see the shorthand for XRP. XRP, right? Number one, plus a second currency, that's again, just maybe a maybe a, a wording game though, because they do consider it a cryptocurrency right there. And I'm thinking currency might also be that they say, hey, X would be a cryptocurrency plus a second currency. It just depends on where you put the emphasis in this sense, right? But the second currency, which again, I, I consider to be the um, second of being, you know, number one XRP, number two, the second pair or the thing that it's paired up with because they place it as second. Otherwise you would have said XRP and a currency if you ask me. But the second currency is what you can use to purchase XRP. If you'd like to purchase XRP with a US dollar, um, look for XRP to USD. So I don't know what else to describe right there, except for the fact that this is pretty funny to me and the fact that they voted like that. Coinbase being so negative towards it sometimes, or at least not being positive towards it, yet they do consider it a currency uh, live and open to the public. I think that's kind of funny. And again, 
Do we think anything of these wheel transfers? I'm not really too sure. As you can see, I have so much stuff open at the top here. I think I'm going to record another little small episode worth of crypto news for today. So I have a couple of things to share.